discussing the save redo tool and how you can exit your tux paint and we will be discussing the brush tool as well so let's move towards the lines tool yes my children the lines tool lets you draw straight lines if you want to draw straight line like you use scales for drawing a straight line which tool you can use you can use this you can see in this toolbar area towards your left hand side next to the paint option there is the button of tools area once you select this one you can select the thickness of the line which you want to draw from your brushes selector area and you can see there are different kinds of line for single or the other one so you can draw and even change the color of your lines i hope it is clear to you my children so let's move towards the next tool and it's very interesting tool you can make shapes and make your drawing colorful using this lines tool so here we have the next one with us the shapes tool mainly if you say the geometrical shapes like you use you people are studying in mathematics the topic in your the geometry as well so you can see the shapes to let you draw some simple filled and unfilled figures the geometrical shapes you can draw using this shapes tool next to the line like in square circle triangle pentagon you have these options in the selector area you can see first you need to select this one the shapes next select the color of your choice and then from the shapes area just select the choice of the shape which you want geometrical shape which you want to select and then simply drag it the fourth one fourth step is here so now we move for the next one yes this is the text tool how you can work with the text tool it lets you add text or numbers in the drawing area so you can see there is a text written over here in this drawing area first again you need to select the abc you can see this is written abc and next to it text this is the text too select this one select the color you want to i have selected red over here and from your right hand side the letters area select the style of your text once you are done with it start typing our cursor will be blinking blinking over here start typing your text over here and with this you will be able to type text letters alphabet numbers all you like to write in your tax paint window so i hope it is clear to you so let's move for the next work for day the next work today's work is the objective type questions and this is a book work from your book page number 103 103 Question number two: Choose the correct option. Remember, my children, this is a book work. So we move for the first one. Here we have the question is the command used to save a picture. We have discussed in the class as well. Which command we use to save a picture? Yes, you are correct. To save your picture, you will be selecting the save option. And this is the third option in your. choose the correct option question answer the first one a part and i have made the color underline with it made it black so this is the correct one to save your pictures you have to select the save button now we move for the next one over here the tool used to draw geometrical shapes we just have seen the shapes which kind of figures are called geometrical shapes geometrical figures like circle triangle how you can draw them you can use the shapes tool 
the shapes tool you can use to draw geometrical figures. So again, this is the third option in the part question. I hope it is clear to you, my children. Remember, this is a book work. So now here we have the C part with us. This tool is used to draw free hand drawing for free hand painting with your hand, with your mouse when you're working in it. Which option you can go for? The tool you can use will be the brush tool. Yes, that's correct. The first option, the brush tool for drawing free hand drawings. In tux paint, you can use this one. Now we go for the D part question. And yes, the question is, the tool used to move out of tux paint. Yes, that's correct. From the options of new print or quick. On your toolbar, there is a button of exit on your tux paint window. For that purpose, I'm going to show you the tux paint window as well. And the correct answer is fourth option exit. Yes, my children, you can see this is my tux paint window. And here in the tools bar, which option I'm having over here? Yes, this is the quest one. I have worked in a painting. I have drawn some of the stamps over here. If I click for the exiting, for exiting the tux paint, which option I will go next to the print, we have this quit button. It will ask you, do you really want to quit here? Quit me, exit. So I will say, yes, I'm done. Once I'm done with it, Here you can see my children in the tux paint window we have seen that to move out of the tux paint window we can use the quit tool quit button you need to click and if you want to save your work use that one otherwise you have to click on the yes i'm done option and this is the third option in this d part with this you can move out of your tux paint window so now we move for the e part question here with us and yes, this is the question A, the tool used to cancel the last action you undid to remove the effect of undo. Which option you can use? You can use the redo option. Yes, that's correct. You can use the redo option. So this is again now second option of part E. With this, we are done with today's work. And here is the answer key for today's work to choose the correct options and remember my children this is a book work fine i hope you will be finishing it along with me and just recheck your answers once you are done with it now we come towards the end of our today's lesson and yes we have discussed today the lines and shape tools and how you can save your drawings how what is the effect of redo tool we have discussed the exit command, the exit tool as well, and the rush tool as well. So that's all for today, my children. But yes, before we end the class, don't forget to open the Google Classroom. Yes, it's your Google Classroom quiz time. Open your Google Classroom. Attempt the quiz over there. The questions are related to the things we have discussed today. And wish you best of luck for your quiz. Hope to see you inshallah in the next class. Stay safe my children and hope to see you in the next class. Take care. Allah Hafiz my children.